Hey guys, this is Hydro from Xtrades, and in this video, we're going to go over Fibonacci retracements and how to use them. So, um, yeah, so I'm using Thinkorswim, and to use the Fibonacci retracement, you would want to go to the drawing tools, and then you would see it right over here. So the way that I draw Fibonacci retracements are, is by looking at like the most recent, um, the most recent like drop, right? So like the biggest drop in like the most recent time period. So let's, for example, let's say we were back in 2020 and this is the current chart of the market, right? So the way I would draw it is use the most recent high and then the most recent low. So um, you would say, you, you might be asking, isn't this the most recent high? Yes, but you wanna find like the most recent high before the biggest drop. So this is the most recent high before the biggest drop, the most recent low before the biggest drop, or in the drop. And then, so this is basically how you would draw the retracement itself. And then if you zoom out at the... So if you zoom out, then you get a retracement here. And this level is a very important level, the 161.8%. It's usually a very significant resistance level in the future. So, um, you know, let's take a look at how this resist, if this resistance level was significant for um, SPY, right? So over here, it looks like we just break out, nothing too significant, right? But over here, you see multiple bounces these two weeks, right? It made a shakeout, it, it was a shakeout week. Um, uh, they took, or they shook out bulls and then they um, ended up closing above that level two weeks in a row, so that, that's one, um, sign that this level is actually a significant level and then here we uh projected pretty hard and then bounced off this level again the next week after so that's two signs right there multiple bounces over here so that's another sign that this is actually a key level of rejection here this time it tried to break out but then failed then multiple rejections here right so this level is definitely a very key level there's many hints that it's a key level right some signs over here, bounces over here, rejection, rejection, and then multiple rejections here, and then it finally breaks out. So the one, this level is definitely very important. And um, yeah, the way you could have gone that is from drawing um, in 2020, you could have used in the 2020 big drop as a way to draw it. And if you want to, uh, for example, this would now be the biggest drop, right? So this was the most recent high, and then this was the low. So this is the new Fibonacci retracement, and this can be used a um, couple years down the road when you're trying to find a good significant level. So for example, if SPY runs up um, in the next couple months or even years, right? However long it takes, once it makes a big breakout move, then this level could definitely be a key level to sell into. And um, yeah, that's basically how you use Fibonacci retracements. Now we'll take a look at a couple more examples. Um, we'll start off with Shopify. All right, I'm going to remove all my drawings and then redraw them just so you guys can see how um, I draw them, right? So I look for like the most recent high and the most recent low. So this for shop, that would definitely be from the top here to all the way to the bottom here, right? But these levels are insignificant right now because the yeah it's way above right. Shop is apparently at fifty nine point five, and the next or the place to sell and when we get a big uptrend would be two seventy point one five. So that's gonna be a while from now. So there's no point in trying to get levels from this right now. But we could go to like the twenty twenty um COVID drop. So this would be the most recent high. This would be the most recent low. And uh, yeah, we'll zoom in. All right, look how these levels match up really nicely, right? So this level is definitely very significant. Notice multiple resistance points here, right? And then um, it breaks out and then multiple bounces again here. And then this level is pretty significant as well. Multiple rejections, multiple rejections. And then, uh, uh, and then uh, fails and then finally breaks out and then pulls back in pretty hard this 161.8 level here's a very clear rejection and then um yeah the other levels are also pretty significant but i usually take into account um the 161 point or any of the higher levels these three are usually the most important ones 
um, especially when you're trying to find places to sell into strength. These would be like the top uh, levels to look at. Um, now we'll take a look at another one. Let's do SQ. Let me remove it again. So again, this would be the most recent high and the most recent low right here. But I want to, use, if I draw it from there, I'm not going to get any significant levels because uh, they're going to be all way above, right? So I'm going to do the same thing again as before and draw it from the 2020 high, most recent high, most recent low. I notice how well this matches up, right? So 161.8 level was a great area to sell into resistance. It consolidated for a couple of weeks and then ended up breaking out higher, but that doesn't always happen, right? It could always go into that resistance and then fall. 2020 was an anom anomaly year, so um, yeah, you see the, all these resistance levels breaking. And then 261.8, this is also a very key level. Notice how it rejects, rejects again, consolidates, and then breaks out. And then it pretty much got the top of SQ to like to the exact point very 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 accurate only off by four dollars but yeah it got the um major resistance level where sq's all-time highs were at and uh yeah and then the 100 or 100 percent retracement is also a pretty significant level notice how we reject multiple times here reject here and then bounce off here um but yeah next up we'll take a look at twilio so I'm not going to redraw it again this time, but I used this high and this low. Again, 2020's uh, drop. And we'll look at how significant Twilio's levels are. So 161.8 level, this was definitely a key resistance level. Notice how it consolidated for four weeks and then it broke out. So it would have been a good place to potentially sell into strength. They don't always go out like this, right? They could go to the 161.8 level and then drop. So always a good idea to take some profits and lock some gains and at the 161.8 level and then the 261.8 again very clear basically got it to the dot um touched that level and then rejected very hard for a couple months and then broke out again and then um yeah it also touched that uh 423.6 level and then topped out and then, yeah so this is a very good example of why fibonacci retracements are so good um the, the smaller levels are pretty significant in, um themselves but I like to take a look at the um, the levels above above 100% because they are very good areas. They're, they're very good hints to tell you where to take profits or where to sell into strength. Take a look at a couple more. Roku. Again, I'm just I'm not going to draw it again, but uh, actually, let me draw this one again. So I'd say the most recent high was there. The most recent low was there. Yeah. So for Roku, this level wasn't too significant, but this level was definitely very significant. Notice how it rejects multiple times here, rejects again, and then here it finally breaks out. So there's definitely some key resistance level over there. Over here, <clears throat> not too much evidence of it being a clear level. It rejected once, but the second time it broke out pretty easily, but did reject here again. So there is that, but this level is not as significant for uh, Roku compared to the other names, but again, it's always good to take a look at these levels regardless Next up, let's take a look at Etsy um, <clears throat> Etsy was pretty good um, There was definitely a very clear level of resistance at that 261.8 level Notice multiple rejections here, multiple rejections here, and rejected again earlier this year um, And then the 100% level is also very significant, very strong bounce uh, formed over there and then um the 422.6 level also pretty significant it chopped around here for a while but many clear rejections and then uh tried to break out again and then rejected and then finally broke out again um let's take a look at a couple more uh let's do amazon amazon's levels are pretty good so this is the 20 2019 high and then 2019 low from the COVID drop um, formed a really long base and then broke out this was a good area to sell into strength uh, there's definitely some resistance over there more resistant and then it, yeah there's more proof of it being resistant earlier in 2022 
and in 2023 was able to successfully break out and then bounce off that level multiple weeks here. So definitely a key uh, resistance level or key level. And then here is another key level. Notice many rejections here, right? It, it chops around it, but there's definitely a big uh, key level here. There's many rejections here. And then here it became support and it bounced off that level many times. And then here it became resistance again, multiple rejections here again. So yeah, if Amazon, the levels were pretty good. I think there's actually one more, yeah. So if Amazon ever does break out again, 225. Uh, would be the level to sell to um yeah you guys can uh practice around with a couple charts just try and try doing the same thing that i was doing and then you'll find that these levels actually tend to match up pretty well um so we'll do one last more or one last one here crowd strike 2019 high and then 2020 low um that's how you draw the retracement and then the key level is 161.8 this one's def this one was perfect notice multiple rejections here bounce here bounce here and then uh yeah and then 261.8 level is also pretty significant multiple reject <coughs> multiple rejections here and here and then uh, tried to break out failed and uh yeah overall it's a very this is a this process is a pretty good way of getting uh, key levels for the future when you're looking to sell into strength but yeah that's pretty much all i got for you guys for this video thank you guys for tuning in